Hey, welcome back guys, it's Crafty Fox, and today we are making the Metro Pullman number 7664, and this is a bi-level coach. So this is actually commissioned by John Sheldon, and he wanted me to make the number 7664, and this specific model, it was built in 1956 for Chicago and Northwestern, and then Metro, I guess they bought it from them. And then Metro, they sold it off to Virginia Railway Express, the VRE. And then Metro, eventually, they got it back and they repainted it in this new color scheme, which is known as the Lightning Bolt color scheme. So here's what it looks like. There may be other coaches uh, with this color scheme, but I am not quite sure about that. Uh, when I see this in some YouTube videos, um, they just pair it off with some other Metro coaches. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the build. And let's get started. So first you have to make this base. It's going to be two blocks above the tracks. It's basically five blocks wide of clay and 39 blocks long. So once you added that, you will make a perimeter 39 by five and add stone in the middle of it. So it looks like this. Once we do that, we got to go to the front and add three blocks wide under here of stone brick slabs and then smooth stone slabs on the outer edge. Then we're going to take out um, stone brick slab, add a double one in the middle, slabs on the sides of it, do a right wall three blocks tall on the sides. It's going to be our gangway. And polish the right slab in between the top walls. Then we're going to add clay five blocks wide. Then blue concrete five blocks wide. Blue concrete three blocks wide here and then black concrete uh, five blocks wide and then three blocks wide on top of that like so then we're to go to the side and add in a birch fence gate to open that up same thing on the other side like so and I'm going to add acacia slab in this little nook here same thing on the other side and another brick slab on the top part with a dark oak slab behind it all right, so that's looking good so far. Now we're gonna go add a dark oak fence gate under here. Just add a pair, open them up. And add dark oak fence gates, two blocks here, open them up. And block stained glass panes on either side of it. Like so. And that is pretty much it for the front part. Now we're gonna make this bogey down here. So let's uh, skip a block. And add a pair of gray terracotta. This is gonna be our wheels. Then we're going to take um, stone brick slab, add it in between. And we're going to make it uh, five blocks long. So actually five additional to this. So one, two, three, four, and five. And then add another pair of wheels at the back of this. And then we're going to add stone brick slab right next to the wheel. And then deer right walls in between. And then there's going to be deer right polished deer right slabs front of the walls and then hoppers the sides of the wheels and polish your right stairs facing towards the hopper same thing on the other side so just add in the snowbrick slabs uh, deer right walls in the middle uh, the hoppers the deer right slab and then deer right stairs facing towards the hopper and that's pretty much it for our bogey design very nice and now what we're going to do, we're going to copy the same exact thing right here to the other side. Alright, so once we have both sides, it should look like this. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make one side of it. And then the other side is rotated 180 degrees. So it will be on this side, the Metro logo, and on this side. So first thing we do, we're just making this side. So let's go down here. We're going to make these windows, and that's going to be polished your right slabs and stairs. So we're going to start off two slabs here, and then put a stairs, then a slab, and then the stairs. So these are the two types of windows. They're going to be like two blocks long. So here's two, and then here's two with the stairs. So uh, we want to make sure that there is going to be uh, six windows here. So this is one, two, we go back to slabs. This is going to be three. And this is the fourth window, fifth window, and sixth window. 
So there we have all six windows, very nice. And then we're gonna take two clays, add it here. And then we're gonna delete these three blocks down here. So one, two, three, put two clays here. And then we're gonna add some more windows. So there's gonna be uh, five windows here. So stairs, slab, stairs, then two slabs, then our third window and the fourth window and then the fifth window and after uh, the fifth window uh, let's add in there's gonna be two smaller windows and that's just gonna be two to right walls or, I mean stairs like that all right all right so then we're gonna take out uh, blue concrete and we're gonna add a row cross right here from the center outwards same thing on the other side, center and outwards. And then we're gonna add in, uh, right here in the middle, uh, there's gonna be this door, which is gonna be a stone brick stairs, upside down, facing towards the middle. And then stone brick block in the middle of that. Then there's gonna be a stone brick wall, two by three. And we can add in black concrete at the inside of those stairs so that the windows are blacked out. And I guess it's optional if you want to like actually just go across the whole thing like that. All right, so after we do that, we're gonna add on very top of this three blue concretes on the inside part and three smooth stone slabs in front of that clay block on top, smooth stone slab on top of that. And then there's these red stripes. So to make the red stripes, we're gonna add red wool, sides of that, red concrete, sides of that. Uh, red nether brick slab here on the sides, and then acacia slabs. Then we're gonna add orange clay, or orange concrete, I mean three blocks wide in the middle. Line that up with the acacia and then red concrete next to it and orange in the middle. Then we're gonna add blue concrete on the inside part of this, extend this all the way across. And then we're gonna add acacia slabs, add that all the way across. Same thing on the other side, so blue and then acacia. Then on the next row, on the very roof of it, uh, let's add in uh, two more black concretes here. And this time we're gonna use nether brick slabs and stairs. So there's one, two, three, four, five windows and they're gonna line up at the bottom. So add upside down stairs, slab, stairs, and then two slabs and keep on doing this till we have all the windows like we have down there. This may take us a while though, but uh, we will manage. All right, and oh yeah, right there. There's our last window, so it lines up, and then right here, next to this red concrete is a black concrete, like that. Go to the other side, add black concrete, and we're gonna add some more of these windows. They're gonna line up right with the bottom windows, I guess. Alright. Got the two slabs and the stairs. I don't know what else to say about this, but we are approaching the end already. Alright, so once we have that, we're going to add a row across using nether brick slabs all the way across like that. Same thing over here. And then we're gonna take out black stained glass block and add it on the inside part of this for all the windows, including the top portion and the bottom portion. Like that, as well as these windows over here, just fill that in. And these bottom windows. All right, once we finish that off, we're gonna take out 
uh, black concrete and we're gonna finish off the rest of the roof. So after you filled all the roof in with black concrete, we're gonna move down here and we're gonna add the Metro logo. So go to this window and delete these three blocks and add in three quartz stairs like that. And the inside part of it, we wanna fill that in with blue concrete. Next, we're gonna take out spruce button, add two of them here and then one here, and then diagonally, there's gonna be a acacia button right there. And then below that, we're gonna add uh, five blocks wide of smooth stone slabs, like that. And we're gonna extend that all the way to the center and the other side, actually. <laughs> all right, after we do that, let's go uh, back over here and we're gonna add another one to the edge. This time you don't have to go all the way inwards. Then we're gonna go to the bottom, add smooth stone slab. Two blocks side, iron trap door sticking out. Skip two blocks and add in smooth stone um, slab again. And then there's gonna be two iron trap doors like that. And stone brick slab on the inside right there. Then we're gonna go to the other side Add a stone brick slab right there in the middle. And then smooth stone slab. Uh, skip one here and add one, line it up with this pillar, I guess. Then we're going to skip two. And then add two smooth stone slabs like that. So after you do that, we're going to copy this whole section here, rotate it 180 degrees, and make it on this side. So it should look like this. And yeah, that is pretty much it on how to build the Metro Pullman in the lightning bolt color scheme. And thanks to John Sheldon for making this video possible by commissioning it. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, remember to hit that like button down below and subscribe if you haven't already because I'll be uploading more videos like this in the future. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.